Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. Thank you all for being here. As you can see, I'm with my friends at Solid Cam. And my immediate question when I stepped on to have this conversation with both Ken and Kevin is, why Solid Cam? Many of you know I come from a machining background. And I'm being honest here. Back in 2000, 2002, 2003, when I was line by line program and I had the opportunity to decide through a place of ignorance, if I'm being honest, what software to go with as I step from line by line to Excel to what software. So we're here today with the experts at SolidCam to figure out what <clears throat> sets them apart and makes them different. How can they help you in your machine shop? How can they help you create success? So Ken, let's start off on that topic and move sure. forward from there. You bet. It, it's kind of fun, Tony. Um, Solid Cam is a full featured cam system. We do everything from two and a half D, super simple stuff, pockets, contours, drilling, you know, all the way up into the ultra complex five axis with fancy, you know, barrel cutters, oval cutters, lens cutters, really interesting tool tilts and all kinds of things. We go all the way into advanced um, mill turn machines with, with multiple turrets, multiple spindles, all the way up into Swiss. Swiss is kind of an interesting area, some really tricky machines. A lot of stuff going on inside the Swiss, that's what this Torno is over here. And we'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Um, we're really integrated tightly with SolidWorks and we work directly inside that application. And Kevin here can really speak to it, he's actually a certified professional with SolidWorks. Certified, we like those. We like certified professionals, Kevin. So Ken's kind of given us the overview of the worlds that you work in, right? So yep. I know that you can dive in with this. If I have a machine shop that has all of these different components to it, including, you know, we're standing in front of Tornos right. now in the Swiss world. So when I'm in these worlds, what makes you different? What sets you apart? Why? What amplifies the solid cam to help me succeed? Right. So the, the number one thing is we are inside of SolidWorks the entire time. So we're never leaving the SolidWorks environment. And so we're also working inside of Autodesk Inventor, working inside of um, Solid Edge and many other CAD softwares as well. So we let the CAD friend end, or let the guys that handle the CAD, they're the professionals in the CAD where solid cam we handle the machining side of things so let us handle the machining side we're let them handle the cad side so they're good at the cad we are really good at the cam side of things <laughs> hence the name i right, imagine right. as well well i want to take it to the next level as we're standing in front of a swiss machine torno specifically at this point and let's dive into that world we're here we can talk about it right and then when we talk about it I might immediately think, well, Tornos, I mean, we know them. That's that's a quality machine. It, right. it takes a, a really great programmer to machine from two different sides, as I understand from a lot of my friends in the industry running the Tornos machine and how this programming system works. So in the Swiss world, how does it work with the solid cam side of things? Well, the thing that really makes solid cam very, very interesting to work with is the visualization and the fact that we we handle an unlimited number of channels of synchronization. We also handle an unlimited number of axes of motion. So, it's, I mean, this stuff gets really cool. We can do all the way up to five axes simultaneous on two independent channels simultaneously. Now, get your head wrapped around that. That's a lot going on in one of these machines. But Solid Cam gives you a fantastic way of programming that where it's very visual, it's very plug and play, drag and drop, and it's it just makes the job much more um, aware the programmers are aware of what they're doing while they're doing the programming. You're not waiting until afterwards to figure out whether or not things are going to run into each other because, man, there's a lot going on inside there. That's very important to understand. And maybe this question comes back to you because we got a certified professional here, so everything's <laughs> going to be easy for him, right? But I sure. wanna, I'm interested in everything that Ken just described. He said, wrap your head around it, which maybe I can't, and I'm trying my best, right? But how user-friendly and easy is it? If you're gonna educate people on the software and, and in a complicated situation, we need to learn from the basics on up to really feel confident and comfortable. How easy is it to learn? Right, and what our customers have told us that have made the switch from other CAM softwares to our software is our software is very intuitive, very easy to learn. If you have a, uh, understanding on how to open up files in SolidWorks or Autodesk Inventor, for say, um, it's going to come very easy to you because we are working inside that environment the entire time. Plus, we go above and beyond. You know, on our website, 
we have our customer reviews telling us, you know, how good the product is or how good our support is for them. But we're also sending our customers additional training. So on our Solid Cam YouTube channel, we have full documentation on, you know, from start to finish from somebody that won't know anything about our software to being able to run a five axis machine shortly after watching those short videos. So okay. very simple, easy to learn. And to be honest with you, I got my nine year old kid using Solid Cam and SolidWorks right now. So <laughs> it's very simple. Did you guys hear that? I'm out of here. That was enough. I'm giving this to Ken. I'm out of here. Hey, come back, come back. I can't leave just yet, but that's incredible. Nine-year-olds, so I, I love hearing that. I've seen this in, in different types of things in the automation to simplify it, as you just described with software. I've seen it in the additive manufacturing right. world with kids getting involved. Mm -hmm. So firstly, just let yeah. me, a, a brief segue. Thank you for doing that and getting the kids yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, something else that I, I, won't, I don't want to say I had trouble with, but came up from time to time when I was programming a lot was that my system would oftentimes bog down and, and it would be difficult for it to render some of the things I was trying to create. And maybe that was due to my laptop, but I think it was a lot due to some of the systems as well. When it comes to how much power this software has, how much ability to move quickly as we're trying to move quickly in this world and, and automate everything and do more with the limited amount of time we had, how's the the overall strength and capability now that we've learned it now that we're applying it now we're working in multi-axis five axis as you mentioned as well there's obviously going to be past tool paths that are thousands of right. lines long from time to time how does that all work is that a question for kevin ken who wants to answer that <laughs> well you know it's the software is written in a way that it takes advantage of all of the computer hardware so whatever you've got it's going to use it right um, we obviously advise if you're doing super complex programming, you're going to want to get a pretty decent computer. But you know what? I run, and not to say it's not a decent computer, it is. I run off of a Surface Pro 9, and I can do everything that I need to do. It's not as fast as somebody that's running off of a you know, super computer on their desk, but hey, I can do everything all the way up through complex Swiss with the full simulation even on that Pro 9 that doesn't even have a dedicated graphics card. So the system is very effective, it's very efficient, and we've, we've put things together in a way that keep it running to make it very convenient for the user and to be effective and get their job done as fast as they can. Now, to kind of go off of that point now, with those, you know, we, we all, as machinists, we have our nice computers. Sure. But we also travel some as well. So now what we have is our solid cam for operators, which you can go off of a tablet and I can have my guys send me these programs. Now I can be anywhere in the world. I was actually out farming the other uh, couple weeks ago and I had my guys sending me programs <laughs> and on my tablet, I'm able to go through it and verify and check out these programs and making sure that this is exactly what our customers are looking for. So it doesn't matter on, you know, we're, we're adapting for our customers because, you know, we're a go, 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 you know, society now. Yes. And now we have the, these tablets and our phones, we can make modifications now right on the fly versus having to go up to the fancy computers and having to carry around that boat anchor, so. Yeah, perfect explanation. Do you guys watch the A-Team by chance? <laughs> I feel like we need a cigar and go, I love it when a plan comes together. You know, that, that was not scripted at all. We didn't go. even know that question was coming, but I love it when it happens. As we come to the conclusion of this segment, because I see a really cool machine I want to look at over there as well, I want to circle back to what you were talking about when you said, we can see what's happening inside the machine before it happens. Because a lot of times previously, and we are talking 20 years ago, so yes, I'm dating myself as well, but 20 years ago, I would have to a lot of times kind of assume that I've done the right program, that I put in the right decimals, right. that I was doing the right things. And Kevin, let's circle back to you if that's okay, because yeah. Ken brought it up earlier and I know that you're the certified expert. How important and how does it actually work where we know what's happening and we can with confidence, and I'm gonna say this, I don't know if I want to say this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> we can with confidence give that program to a button pusher because right. we are having a labor shortage as well and they will be able to push that button and run with the program we created 100 percent. and you know to what you're talking about 20 years ago what we were doing is it's single stop and sticking your head in that yes. machine and going back and forth now not safe you know getting that and now with these new swiss machines i got a big head they're trying to fit in that machine now it's it's hard so now with the software we're able to do is not only get one view 
of that being yeah. virtually machined. We got multiple different views because now we have multiple different channels. We have main spindle, sub spindle, upper turret, lower turret, live five axis head. So we got all these things going on right now in the software and we can have a view for each one of those angles. I can have multiple different views of my machine, full kinematics of the Tornos running as it's going. So like you said, we get to that point of lights out manufacturing where I can play it through in my machine simulation. I know it's good. I don't have any crashes. I can hit cycle start and let the production team go. So you it's You guys great. are both superstars. I know I have you on camera, but I really like to learn a little bit about that technology over there. Can we yeah, move our yeah. cameras around? Take yeah, a let's go look. I don't let's always look get here. experts like you guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, we'll do some stuff. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for bringing me over here. I was excited to see this technology. For those of you watching, yes, I came from the consulting world of high RPM, small diameter, micro machine. I've worked with Level before. I was curious what the partnership and relationship was with the solid cam guys. So Ken, from your perspective, what are we yeah. looking at here? And what's that partnership like? Well, we began working with Level Machines quite a few years ago, and we actually had them build this spec built machine for us so that we could demonstrate our eye machining technology. Because eye machining is just an amazing revolution in material removal. We can do things so fast and make the tool last so long because of the physics-based functionality in our algorithm. We're actually driving the entire cut based on a constant chip thickness, which results in a constant chip load on the machine. And so the material, the machine, the tool are all very protected, and yet we can do performance higher than anybody else in the world in material removal in a machine like this. And Kevin, you've been playing around with this for a couple of days now, you love it? Yeah, so the great thing about this technology is we're able to tell the software we're cutting 17 core stainless, we're cutting on a three horse spindle here, and we have a built-in wizard on there, one through eight. You know, level one, double-sided sticky tape. Level eight, we're running that baby in a Kurt Vice. So it takes out all the guesswork as we're programming the machine, takes out all the Absolutely. guesswork of the feeds and speeds, takes out all the guesswork of everything for us, all built into our wizard of going from level one to level eight, that's gonna fully adjust all your feeds, speeds, step down, step over, and angle engagement. It's like hitting the easy button now for machining. It makes it fun now, you know? <laughs> yeah, it is fun. And my old favorite wizard was Merlin. Second favorite was Gandalf. Now I have a new favorite wizard. Thank you all for watching. This is Solid Cam. Ken and Kevin are superstars. We appreciate you both for being here. And we appreciate all of your time and spending it with us as well. Yeah, thank you, Tony. Thank you.